hi viewers uh, good evening this is subramanian today we are going to see how to make a vertical form read only so here uh, the simple steps are like you need to have a form name which you want to make read only and you need to create additional form uh, by giving same name and then we need to create a menu assign that function to your menu then assign to your particular responsibility in this video let's see how we can do that so here i am logging into the application by mentioning uh, like uh, it's a demo or vision instance so i have using vision operations and welcome so i have successfully logged in and i'm moving to system administrator responsibility so here it is system administrator responsibility just click on that you will find list of functions that belong to that click on any one of the function which need to open the java form so the form is opening here so once the form has been opened please navigate to the uh, application menu so find out the particular menu uh, so it which contains list of functions so here i am using inventory uh, menu which is inv underscore navigate so just uh, type inv navigate and press control f11 to get the list that menu so see there is a sub menu called system items like inv items query that and inv items to find your particular function call master items take that function and navigate to functions uh, menu or uh, functions uh, form so just click on that and uh, query the form so it should be in user function form so once you execute similarly create another function just just rename the same uh, you can take the same uh, you know uh, function name so you just rename things and uh, the only main thing we are going to see is see since while doing the testing i have created a couple of things so so just given some name and i am going to take the same name and i am going to the next tab where uh, i am selecting the read only uh, form just click on that see the form i selected then i am going to select here the main thing you need to observe here you need to type query underscore only equal to yes so that is the main thing you need to write see everything apart from that is common so only change that to query only remaining all okay just save it so you, you successfully created a function so go to the menu and create a new menu so just create sorry for the background noise yeah i am creating here uh, my own uh, you know a, a custom menu so menu type i am giving standard just put sequence as 10 prompt as some master items read only then you can put a, a function which we have created so you need to give the user function name so then only you will get it since there is a it, it won't find you need to type some master items you will get a list of functions which has which have the same name so here i have so just click on ok so that uh, you will get that function all you need is just hit save and system will run a program it's a concurrent program once the concurrent program is get completed normally so you all good to go ahead and create new responsibility yeah here i am going to create new responsibility so the new responsibility i am giving like a, a item master read only item master or master item read only whatever so give up i am giving the application as inventory and here i am giving the menu which i just created hit save and then what we will do we need to access this form so i am assigning to my user which is 
operations here in this case so give the username as operation and execute it control f11 and come to the responsibilities where you need to assign a responsibility which is we just created just before so hit save and go to the cut custom or whatever responsibility we created just navigate to that yeah you can see there is a responsibility we created yes you just could select any one of the warehouse so then only you can able to access that since master organization form even though you selected any organization it will open for your master inventory organization so see this the all tabs has been grayed out you can't see anything just query any one of the item so to check uh, you will able to change anything i don't think it will allow so since since it's a read only form so we have executed you can see no nothing will be accessible so if you want to query any field you can go to that and you can you know try to query so see simply you can't find any function also so that's all about today so please subscribe my channel and share the video with your friends and colleagues and if you need any more information just comment below thank you for watching and good night